Hey everyone, so this video is very different to my normal videos as I actually wasn't planning on putting this video together. But when I was going through the footage from a fun shoot that I did with ASICS and world number 85 Harriet Dart, I couldn't let the footage go to waste as I challenged Harriet and high performance coach Jack Carpenter to a blindfolded serve contest. And so although this video is far from any other educational video that I normally post, I'm still going to try to give you some value and some tips. We each put a blindfold on and our aim was to hit five serves over the net and into the court, which didn't go so well as you can imagine. But some of us did slightly better than others. Harriet was up first. All right, here's Harriet, blindfolded. Let's see how she goes. Oh, I maybe leave the, leave the bounce. I know, like a serve. Okay. Oh my god, this is like so weird. Okay. <laughs> oh no. Fantastic motion though. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, wait there, wait there. Fantastic motion. Ah, so I need to wait. Tiny, tiny okay. Fraction. Okay. What the hell? <laughs> Bingo! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I love it. Here you go, here you go. I hate it's this. It's hard, isn't it? It's so hard. It's like perception. Your coach is going to get those glasses back on you. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> here you go. <laughs> Broken <sword. laughs> I'm trying to see where I am, you know? Yeah? I think yeah? yeah. Okay. That's devastating. It really goes to show no matter how consistent your toss and your serve motion is, your eyes and your vision play a huge part in your serve. Just imagine if you watch that ball ever so slightly more closely, you could hit your serve that little bit cleaner each time and in turn gain more power and more accuracy. Next up, it was Jack's turn and his aim was to try to have a lower ball toss and a slightly more compact swing as he felt this would give him more success in connecting with the ball. If you can get this, I'll be so gone. <laughs> oh. Literally like that, it looks like it's gone through the racket. Like you were so close. That one was the head one. How are you connecting to it? Are you lying to us that you can see? Uh, <laughs> told you, you can't see a thing. Two more. At least he's... <laughs> 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 At least he's connecting with it. I can even connect with it. Your every ball was like so the same. Yeah. Well, at least I have a good toss. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see he was about to serve that way? <laughs> I know it's odd. Oh, there we go. That's not bad. I feel like it. Not bad. It's much better than mine. Yeah. Ooh, so he's nice abbreviating a bit, huh? Because I'm going fully back. Finally, it was my turn. Now, as I mentioned, I definitely had an advantage going last. I learned from Harriet's mistakes from doing her full serve motion, and I got a few tips from Jack as well. Okay, you got one? Is that the court? Yep. Yeah. You're on the deuce side. Right. Oh what? Oh. This guy's lying to us. He can see. I promise I can't. I promise. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> Did he land it? Did it go in? No, it's not Where did it land? Wide. It's not bad. Was it? Yeah, it's clean. Yeah. What I'm thinking, I'm going very low with Yeah, you are. You are. Smart, very smart. Yeah, he's going low and fast. 
Yeah, you're giving it no time. So you, you, you're using the rib as well. <laughs> you're hitting like proper over there. You want to be turning around a bit more and hitting more. Oh, that's the that's the fence. That's the that's the that's, the that's the fence on due side. You've been serving right box, but you're serving into the fence. Where am I pointing? Fence. Okay. This. Just point that way. Okay. It's good though. He's good. I was useless. The first one was the best. You were so good. Was it? Yeah. Were they landing anywhere? Fence. All that way. Yeah. First two were good. If you can take anything from the way that Jack and I toss the ball slightly lower, you can see that it's much easier to time. So if timing is an issue on your serve, then try considering bringing that ball toss slightly lower than you normally do. As long as it's high enough for you to fully extend up to the ball at contact, it's high enough. But by limiting the toss height, that ball has less distance to drop, meaning that you can get up to it when it's at its most still point at the peak. Anyway, after Harriet watched Jack and I, she was determined to connect with one. So she put the blindfold back on and managed to do this. Okay. Unfortunate there. Come on. Come on, you got this. Okay. What is? Get your racket, get your racket already like in here. Loaded up, yeah. There. Okay. And then just up just very throw. short and then hit. Yes! That was clean. <laughs> One thing that I didn't mention to anyone until after the blindfolded serve challenge was I actually used to coach two players that competed nationally in visually impaired and blind tennis. And so my work when coaching those definitely gave me a bit of an advantage in this challenge. Let me know in the comments if you've ever tried. Let me know in the comments if you've ever tried a blindfolded serve and whether you have or not, let me know which out of the three players you think you're most like. Anyway, as you saw, Harriet was great fun. And if you want to find out any more about her tennis journey, I actually interviewed her last year and I'll put the video at the end of this one. Thanks as always for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care.